Hello, and thanks for joining me for another review. Today we have the QSC USB voltage detector. I purchased this from eBay for $3. Uh, it took about a month to get here because it came from China. But um, even though it took a while, I'm still happy with it. Um, nowadays, the phones and everything that we have, like tablets and stuff, are so expensive that uh, you just can't take a chance on using a third-party generic kind of a charger or anything like that what this does is it gives you the voltage and the amps now this will uh, register up to three amps and uh, it'll tell you if your charger is any good and it'll also so show fluctuations by renewing itself about every uh, 20 seconds or so and to make sure that you're still getting you know the the right uh, amount of amps and voltage and you can plug this into any USB port as long as it's not over three amps and uh, it'll give you it has two outs one on either side and this is for you to plug up your item like your tablet or some kind of a load that will you know put a strain on it and show you so I have a uh, rechargeable USB uh, battery here and I'm going to put it in and as you notice on the bottom here it shows that this is a uh, 5 volts which is correct I think this is uh, 2500 milliamps and uh, it, it'll only go up to 1 amp so I have a little mini fan here and I'll plug that in and you'll notice that it only pulls 0.35 amps but uh, and you notice the, the voltage is showing here as it fluctuates and um, but not much it's pretty much right on anything from like 490 to um, 5.05 is good so you don't have to worry about it but um, so I'll unplug this and uh, also have a another one here that has um, this one is for, uh, I have an iPad, so I'll pull my iPad in here. Oh, this is iPad Mini 4, but uh, that'll give you a idea of what it can charge. Now, the uh, iPad Mini 4 has something I didn't quite suspect um, would be on an iPad, but uh, that you can still charge it, but it's like a trickle charge if you do it on one of these little small... Uh, backup batteries so if I plug this in you'll notice um, it stays under one amp when ever the plug that comes with it is two amps and uh, which is a, I think a total of like 12 uh, 12 volts but uh, this is good for testing that because like I said these products that we buy nowadays all of our electronics phones you know these are well over five hundred dollars and it's just not safe to buy these uh, third-party generic chargers without testing them first because I've had a few that I've tried to test with this and uh, I get back weird numbers it's supposed to be 5 volts you'll get something like 450 or a little bit lower or sometimes you'll get something that's like over 5 and uh, it could damage your system even though some of these have uh, charging protector chips built into them you still don't want to take a chance but uh, anyway, this will give you the voltage and the amps, and then you'll be able to tell if you've uh, actually purchased something. Because, I, I mean, it's when you're looking at these uh, third party, it's just too tempting to buy something that you, you only have to pay a dollar or two for versus $30 from Apple or any other service. But um, I thought this was a really good deal. And um, like I said, I purchased this off of off of eBay and I'll look and see if I can find a link for another one but it's not very hard to find just look up the name and uh, USB detector voltage detector and you'll see tons of them on there this is the only one I recommend I haven't tried any of the other ones but this one works I'm happy with it I don't feel like that it's cheap I mean it's it's very well constructed I mean it's you know the seams doesn't creak and uh, everything's real st sturdy on it and it, like I said it has two outs the other ones I, that I've saw on uh, eBay they only have one out and this one you can put a double load on it 
and see if you could, you know, how much you can tax it. Anyway, that's my review. Uh, hope you enjoy it. Please thumbs up and subscribe.